Janine is from Black Veil Brides. Woo! Shout and out Janine. Janine, the fucking goat. Thank you so much for all of your tremendous amount of support. This is for you. Thank you so much for the request. We're going to break down the tracks to this. Check it out. If you're watching this over on YouTube, we're live on Twitch, and you should follow us on Twitch if you want to be part of the live reactions. Let's just jump right into this, guys. Um, I know of Black Veil Prize, by the way, but the only reason why I know of them is because I worked with an artist named John Paul. That was actually my first YouTube channel I ever worked on, and uh, we used to do covers, and he did a Black Veil Prize cover, and he, he blew up. Because yeah. we blew up the channel with that. Dope. So that's the only song I know about them, and I don't even remember how it sounded. <laughs> uh, I'm a fan. I've been a fan since high school. Yeah, you can say whatever you want about them, but I mean, they, I think so, they make good music. W- wait, why do you say it like that? Is there like some negative connotation against yeah, listening to Black Bell Brides? They're one of those bands that had a, a very weird image, I guess you could say. And a lot of they got a lot of flack for it, you know. So and really? then the, the band actually kind of bought into the flack or gave into the flack, and they, you know, had developed this like negative attitude towards the fans and stuff like that, which was an itch issue for a while. So, uh, anyways, but now they they've calmed down. They've become really chill. They're a cool band. Sorry, we have cable issues. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, so okay, uh, I understand now. I was wondering. I was like, I, I, I've, I've heard good things about them overall. I mean, I only know of that acoustic cover, and that was it. I don't even know which song we did, but it was one of their famous. In ones. the end. In the yeah. end. Okay. So in the end is the only song I've ever heard by Black Vile Bryce. So this will be my first time hearing an actual song by them, ever. All yeah, right, man. So let's do this. Cool, man. And this is brand new. This came out what a few days ago. Oh uh, no, it came out like. A month ago. Oh, a month. <laughs> Came out a month ago. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Out the gate, man, his vocals are fucking awesome. Cool. I love it. I was very curious to, to hear what you actually thought <clears throat> of him, because Andy Beersack is an interesting vocalist. I think he, he's a good vocalist. It's just I don't think he was made to be a vocalist, if that makes sense. But I don't mean it in a bad way. You know what I mean? I, I don't even know how to take that. I do, <laughs> Like, chat, what, how do you take that comment? I don't know. I he like the his weirdest vocals. backhanded comments ever. Like, you're a great vocalist, but you shouldn't have been a vocalist. What? <laughs> I don't know. I, just, I don't know how to take that. It feels like he grew into the role, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll make, make that it. make sense for us, chat. You ever Here's his vocals alone. That a fire is set each time I try to sleep. See, now I can understand why my buddy uh, John Paul did this on vocals because his voice did match this very well. He, he of course did it in a different style, but I can see why he would cover this vocalist. With all the beautiful friends so that smooth. you always depend to stay in the light of fame. They want you there to save a life. But only if you're dressed in white. I love this because it's very, you know, it's going to happen, but they have slight little changes happening here and there. So just enough changes, but not too much, you know, to make it weird. I really like that tone. That tone is so cool. I love that. Oh, hell yeah. 
some really cool things about the mixing too is the vocal layers, beautiful vo like like lush layers. So hold your razor wide and swing it to the skies. Fuck yeah. Yep. That's 100% them. They do that a lot. Do what you need to stay alive. Not bad, man. Fuck yeah. Are they kind of copying the SWAT Sweeney or Sweeney Todd? Uh, Sweeney Todd yep. video. That's yep. what they're going for. Okay. I think I think I heard somewhere that he's a he's a big fan of that kind of thing. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the song is about that. You think? I'm not too sure. Probably. I, I can't it has tell, to be, but probably. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta Fuck hear that sick yeah. fucking drum fill that Dude, that just happened right at the tone beginning. is everything, man. It's Fuck a really good tone. Wait, where's that drum fill? Yeah, the guitarist Jake Pitts, he actually has a YouTube channel himself. He actually goes into detail, like he has videos explaining how he gets his tone and stuff, how he goes uh, by uh, like sampling his amps and shit through amp modelers and like how they get the tones and shit. Oh, that's uh, really cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, listen to these drums right here. It's so good. I think they're actually... I don't think they're using real drums on this. I think mm. they might be using um, drum samples all the way, not even mixed with real drums. Really? Still good. Still sounds good. Uh, I know CC does actually record his own drums. So he does. I, he does. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, but they put the samples way higher in the mix. CC is such a good drummer. I think he's a super underrated drummer, actually. I mean, they sound sick. That's why I wanted yeah. to isolate them, but I'm like, wait a sec. Maybe it's the way that it's pulling the drums out. You can make your own drum samples. I do that. Dude, or... He's probably that fucking good. I don't know. It, Maybe. I can't tell. I'll be honest. I can't tell. Can't fucking tell, which is really weird. Weird because normally I can't tell. Smushed the heck out of it. And that, yeah, they why. did. Yeah. It's really compressed, like yeah. the whole song is. But um, in, in a good way, it sounds good. <laughs> So guitar solo too short. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, this is really cool that he had a, like a blood uh, blood red shirt though. That's cool.
elements of real drums at the end. But there's definitely samples on there. Oh, it's just sure. the samples are way louder, like way more compressed and mixed in there with it. It's uh, one of those, this is one of those uh, perfection mixes, you know, it's like perfected to the T, like where there's no errors, no mistakes. We we're kind of talking about this earlier yeah. on the earlier podcast today. Really cool that they had another guitar melody enter in at the end. Overall, it's a good song. Probably not something I'll listen to, honestly. This is definitely Eric's style, 100%. For sure. I mean, but yeah. it's very different for them. You know, this is way more on the metal chord side of things, whereas their other stuff is more like on the hard rock with like some classical influence. Does that make sense? Heck yeah. Yeah. But it, he has a good voice, man. He has a good yeah, voice. Dude. He has a really good voice. I would still listen to more from them. It, you said the older stuff is way different. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Uh, there's yeah. elements of them still on here, but it, it's like a much more modernized version. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah. gotcha.